Hi, this is Frida. I would like to uh, show you how to uh, knit this lovely bolera that I have been knitting over a uh, hundred boleras since Kate Middleton married <laughs> when she wore her bolera, Angora bolera. What I'm doing is, this is a hundred percent Angora rabbit yarn, which I buy in bulk. So this is the yarn. This is from Italy. Okay, so it is pretty lace yarn, and uh, so I'm going to do three ply, and this is a white, white uh, Angora rabbit. I work with rabbit yarn. Okay, so what? Well, well, I'm going to be knitting a extra small, extra small bolera. So I'm going to be casting on a total of 40 stitches. So just grab as much as yarn you need. And I'm using circular needles. These are 4.5 I use. I, th I think may they might be 4. I can't read them anymore because I've been knitting so much. Uh, the number's erased, unfortunately. Okay. And I have my other projects on my uh, coffee table here. <laughs> I'm a busy gal. What can I say? Okay, now. Okay, so cast on total of 40 st stitches. This is going to be from top down. So uh, just cast on total of 40 stitches. This is how I cast on. What I did is I did a loop and I went like this. And I think I showed how to cast on on one of my tutorials. So I'm just going to try to get rid of the blurry. I think it is blurry. I don't want your eyes to get... I think this is better. So cast on total of 40 stitches. So I'll let you cast on. This is how I cast on. Okay, I think this Valera is going to fly to either your Norway or Sweden. I can't remember. At the moment I have over 15 Valeras to knit. And I'm getting messages as uh, I'm knitting. So I check my messages on top of the hour. Some, uh, the other two days ago I've been uh, messaging for a total of nine. <laughs> and then another one joined from the States. She wanted one for her wedding. I think she's getting married in March. Okay, so uh, cast on total of uh, 40 stitches and I'll meet you. After casting on a total of 40 stitches, what we're going to do is, it looks tiny, doesn't it? <laughs> well, this is going to be a V-neck, so what we're going to do is we're going to increase from the, uh, from the edges, one stitches, and then increase between the sleeves and the back area. So this is going to grow. Okay, so let's get started. This is how I do my uh, boleros. Everyone has their other own way to do it. But I've been asked several times, how do you knit, knit your boleros? So I am showing. So let's get started. So what we're going to do is, we're just you don't have to knit the first stitch. So just continue purling. This is how I purl from the back. So just purl as you would regular purl all the way, nothing to be increasing or nothing, just purl the 40 stitches all the way. Okay, so continue purling all the way to the end. After, after purling the back side of the work, what we're going to do is we're going to start increasing here. Either you can use uh, knitter, knitting uh, markers or yarn but this is white so I know where I start my increase if you wish you can use yarn if you wish you can use anything you want okay so for the first stitch we're going to increase this is how I increase my uh, so I knit what I do is I turn I hold it from here and I knit between so this way there's no uh, uh, lace like I don't like the holes so that is considered as one two three okay we knit three for the neck area 
for the collar area. What we're doing is we're going to increase for the sleeve. So just hold this one, don't pull it out yet, and we're going to increase it from here. So this is increasing. And we knit one, and then we increase another one. Okay, this is how we increase. Okay, and then we're going to knit total of seven. Just regular knitting. Okay, so this the seven uh, uh, stitches is for the sleeve area. Now we're going to increase for the back. So don't pull that out yet. So and then knit another one and then increase it. Okay, and now we're going to knit total of sixteen. Total of sixteen stitches for the back. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Don't pull the sixteen yet. We're going to increase for the sleeve. So then knit another one, but don't pull it out. We're going to increase another one. As you can see, we're increasing two. One for the back, one for the sleeve, as as same as for the the one that we did earlier. One for the back, one for the sleeve, one for the sleeve, one for the neck area. So we're gonna total of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But don't pull it up at once. Increase it for the sleeve area. And we're going to increase for the knit one and then increase for the neck area, for the collar area, or the front. The front, this is going to be the front, the three stitches remain. Knit the two and increase the last one. This is how I increase it. Knit one and then hold it and then go like this. Just go like between. Go between, between and grab that stitch. That's how I increase it. You can't see the increase. It looks nice and smooth. No hole, nothing showing. Okay, so uh, everyone thinks that I uh, knit the Boleras for with a machine, but no, they're all handmade. Only me. And this one, remember, we increased. So this is the back area. We're going to be purling all the way. So I want to knit this one. Just purl it. Just purl the back. Nothing to do it. Just purl. Just regular purl. So uh, what I did is I knit three. I increased it at the front. And after knitting uh, three, I increased it at the third stitch for the front area. And then I knit one and then I increased one for the sleeve area. And then what I did is I knit this total of seven for the sleeve area and another increase for the sleeve and another increase for the back and I knit total of 16 stitches with that 16 stitches I increased one for the back area and then I increased a, and I knit one and I increased another one for the sleeve area and I knit total of seven for the sleeve and what I did is uh, on the seventh stitch I uh, knit and I increased it and I knit another one and I increased it for the sleeve area uh, for the front area and uh, I knit three and I increased the last stitch. Okay, so this is just regular purling as you can see. Okay, we're almost done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just purl the back and knit the front. Purl the back, knit the front. Nothing to be, nothing different, nothing weird or anything. The back is always knit. Okay, so what I do is when I come to the my come to my front, what I do is I don't increase every row for the neck area. If I increase, then it comes a comes a ugly V at the front. So I want it nice and smooth. So what I do is I skip one and I increase the, the following. I knit, I increase, and I skip one row. That's how I do it. But you increase the remaining on, in the between of the body. So I'm just going to knit regular. Just skip this one. And then one, two, three, four. See the body is getting the increasing. But here, what I did the fourth, I have to increase for the front. For the front body. 
and then I'm going to knit this one and I'm going to increase and then you can see those little lines and those little lines that you see shows the increase area that's why I don't use markers because I know where it is but uh, if you want to uh, if you want to put your own marker it's up to you so just knit the regular stitches nothing to do nothing nothing changing just knit the regular I think there's a total of nine so when I come to the ninth stitch I increase and I knit this one but I don't pull it up because I knit and increase it from the side I hold it and I put my needle between and I increase it that's all to it and I continue knitting and this is the body area so we're going to be for extra small I knit a 7 inch long so what you do is you knit straight down straight down so continue knitting like this for 7 inches I measure it I always measure it I have my measuring tape I have several measures your measuring tapes around me surrounded by me so what I do is I knit total of 7 inches for extra small I always measure while I'm knitting that's how I do my knitting so you need a total of seven inches down and that when you come to the seventh uh, inches then you start separating the sleeves the body the front the back the sleeves so I'll be showing you how to do that so uh, I'm gonna just let you continue I'll finish this row continue for you to continue knitting total of seven inches long but meanwhile I said you increase the body okay so we're getting we I finished the uh, 16 17 18 stitches on the 18 stitch what I did is I went over 18 okay here here is my 18 stitch I knit and this is how I increase it from here I hold it like this like this between between the stitch and I go like this and you'll see a line you'll see a line and knit this one and then increase this one and knit another nine stitches this is how you knit okay we're at the we're at the front area now increase knit one increase and this is all to it so like I said the first row I increase the second when I'm knitting the knit stitch I don't I just knit the the collar nothing to it because I don't want to have a sharp V neck I just want to have a nice and smooth V neck okay so just continue purling the the wrong side and knitting the front and continue increasing continue increasing uh, the the body area the sleeve area and the front area and I'll meet you when you knit about seven inches okay you're gonna ask me oh I'm not a extra small size I'm, I'm an extra large size so what I recommend you is measure yourself measure yourself engage the yarn that you're working with like I know my yarn so I know how much uh, how many stitches I need if I was knitting with a thicker yarn that I won't be knitting I will be knitting 40, 40 stitches up here but I won't be knitting 7 inches I would be knitting smaller because because of the yarn depends on how thick your yarn is always check your gauge and then always check your measurements so this is how I do extra small for extra large I do it differently I do different uh, I do different stitches I make because of my practice in knitting so many boleras like I said I knitted over over hunt 200 for sure I know for 100 of course but I can't remember <laughs> um, it's over to uh, 200 for sure I know that and uh, by knitting you, you get experience and you know what you're knitting and for a small size it takes me three days to knit for a medium size for a larger size extra large it takes takes longer and if it's a long sleeve it takes way longer so I would add, I would suggest you to follow you look at the gauge the yarn that you're working with the needle that you're working with and uh, how many stitches you would need um, I can figure out 
uh, like for uh, extra small I used this 40 stitches for the small I used the 40 stitches but I need about 7.5 inches long that's how I know for a medium size I uh, cast on different different depends on the yarn and depends on the needle well I'm, I always use the same needle but um, this is how it starts this is how you start your bolero this is how it looks like so I'll show you how to increase again here at the corner on the collar area so what I do is I knit the first stitch and then from here I grab it but when I'm when I knit when I knit the back and then when I come back I don't increase it I increase it with the following so you increase you knit you increase you knit but here on the body area you increase every knitting when you do the front okay so I'll let you continue and um, from here if you have questions please message me or email me I will try to help you but if you message me like five ten years later I, I will prob probably forget what I was doing okay so continue knitting and I'll meet you uh, when we knit about seven inches long okay so far I have knitted total of uh, seven inches this is how you can measure it from the neck area down what you knit just grab your uh, measuring tape and uh, this is how you measure it total of seven for extra small I knit total of seven inches and plus we're gonna knit about an inch for the collar so there's plenty of room um, the other way if you're knitting it for yourself you can go and grab your uh, measuring tape and knit one of your sweaters from uh, up to down to underarm and then that's how much you have to knit for yourself I would always go with the me uh, with the measuring uh, you can grab one of your sweaters and you can measure your sweater and knit it the way uh, it fits you okay so what from here what we did what I did is I still increased another s stitch here and then here I just knitted the uh, the one knit that we knit and then I'm not increasing anymore so what I'm gonna do is I grab one of my uh, tools here and I am going to switch the stitches uh, this is the sleeve part St stitch it as uh, slip it here so gently remove your uh, knit uh, your uh, stitches here and this is how we're going to be separating the sleeve from the body what I do is I knit the body first and then I come back and knit the sleeves this way I can control my yarn uh, if I don't have enough yarn I can make it as if I have enough yarn I can make a long sleeve and if I don't have enough yarn I can make a three-quarter sleeve but if you want if you want if you plan ahead and bought the yarn that you already have you can knit as your preference uh, either long sleeve or a quarter sleeve okay so that this is what I'm doing I am slipping the stitches to this tool and then after we're done we're going to be adding some stitches for the underarm so there would be a com would be comfortable to wear it for a small size okay so I have uh, I'm done you can count your stitches if you want but I know how many stitches I have it has to be equal with this uh, sleeve to the other sleeve so both have to have the same stitches otherwise then you made a mistake without uh, increasing of one of the stitches okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue knitting I'm going to be uh, from here I'm going to be increasing so I will increase total of three stitches one and then add it like this this is how I do it there's several ways to do it two and then three you can add it like this as well I, I see people do it like this they just turn the uh, slip it and then they go like this you can add it like this as well and I'm going I added total of three and I'm adding another one because when I come back here when I'm gonna start knitting I want to grab the two stitches that I have instead of uh, knitting with the one stitch 
this way it would be there would be no hole or it would look way way better more professional so what I'm going to do, do is the four stitch stitch that I added just going to move it here and I'm going to knit these together just grab it as you are knitting just grab the two stitches and that's how you do it so continue knitting just continue knitting the way you always do nothing we're not increasing anymore so we're just gonna we're just going to knit just a regular knitting okay so continue knitting and I'll meet you at the other side of the underarm area okay so I'm at the other sleeve underarm area so I have knitted all the way I am going to increase another total of four stitches the three stitches is for the underarm and the fourth one is to uh, uh, joining the uh, the front part okay so one two three and then four okay so I'm just gonna grab my other tool and I am going to be moving this oops I lost a stitch here we go grab them back so I'm just gonna move my stitches to the other tool my uh, sleeve stitches okay, and we will be knitting with those later on Okay, so just move them. And this is how I knit my uh, Boleros shrugs. They call it either way, I guess. It's a crop cardigan. Or they call it uh, Kate Middleton sweater. 